we need to be treated like individuals who have specific needs and guaranteed rights. The housing sec really haven't got no, I believe, have got no time to explain things. They just want to move everybody along because they get a lot of people in the housing exec. And, you know, you just take a ticket, you're seen, and you're lucky if you get an interview. But if you do get an interview, normally they, they end up giving you a booklet. And it's, it's really too, it's too intense, it's too long-winded, and it needs to be simplified. As I said, uh, with the four organisations fighting my case, and this is one of the things that I don't, with all due respect to the four organisations, even though I'm grateful for what they've done, it shouldn't have been, it should have been me fighting, not have four organisations turn around and say, this guy needs four, four FDA points. And the worst thing that has is they don't listen to the individual. They just just look at you as a name and just another, just another number waiting, waiting to be seen. I wasn't able to get any information about my points myself. Um, it had to be a support worker in the hostel that got my support points for me. I didn't receive it. I wasn't treated as an individual. We call for the introduction of an individual support pathway, which every person experiencing homelessness receives after assessment, outlining their rights, entitlements and the services they will receive in order to be resettled into a permanent accommodation within a certain period of time.